Welcome to another episode of Mission Accomplished. I have a special guest coming on tonight, a titan in the combat sports world. I'm going to jump right into it. I'm going to bring this man on. He really doesn't need an introduction. His name is Joey Beltran. How you doing, man? How you? Welcome. I'm doing well, man. How are you? Good. Thanks for coming on, man. This is awesome. Um, you know, fresh off of a BKFC event last weekend. So it's pretty cool to have the heavyweight champ on my show tonight. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with the show. It's brand new. This is only the third episode ever. Um, I like to, uh, bring on people in the combat sports world, shoot the shit for a little while, and then bring on a veteran, let a veteran talk a little bit. But tonight I will be that veteran representative (laughs) because I don't have it. Not going on. Um, I'll be bringing on my buddy Bob in a little bit. I know you guys are friends, so Bob will shoot the shit with you a little bit too. So how you been, man? I've been doing well. Um, just uh, getting in back into the swing of things. Uh, full week of training this week, uh, which is really good. And uh, you know, work work is steady as far as like my training and teaching classes and stuff like that. We just got put on purple tier, which is like the most restricted tier as far as like what we're allowed to do in California. Yes. Uh, but, but I, uh, luckily, like my kids, cl- there's a there's a youth sports exemption on the state, so that's awesome. So I my kids class is, is booming right now. We got probably like 20 kids deep. Really, yeah, you guys, so. you guys can do full contact and everything. Yeah. Wow. My yeah, kids. It's pretty, um, it's pretty silly how everything like some like the rules like fluctuate and it's just, oh my god. I mean, we have a fucking clown running our state. Like yeah. He just <laughs> literally just got caught at a at a at a at a party at a winery in in Napa Valley. You know, yeah. he's trying, and then he just implemented. I just saw the alert stay on my phone. And he just implemented a curfew. I was like, good luck enforcing that. So he's a you know, do as I say, not as I do type guy. Absolutely. Well, they all the kind are. Of, they all yeah, are. The, the kind of leader that you really want running your shit, you know? Yeah, exactly. All right. For everybody tuning in, I want to I wanna just let everybody know you are the current bare knuckle uh, fighting championship heavyweight champion, the Police Gazette World Heavyweight Champion. And uh, you have really – uh, kind of like started over in your career, huh? You were in you were in MMA forever. You fought the best of the best, the who's who, and um, then BKFC came around and bare knuckle kind of like blew up with popularity all of a sudden, and um, you found a home there, huh? Ah, absolutely. It's it's just pretty pretty crazy how it all how it all worked out. Very. Uh, very grateful and and just really in making sure that I enjoy this, you know, even in spite of all the uh, complaints I may have or, you know, I can. But at the end of the day, man, I'm 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 competing at a high level, getting paid decent money and and you know, doing the thing, doing the deal. Yeah. Do you think that um, the bare knuckle style of fighting uh, suits you? a little better than uh than mma like seeing i mean you're a you're a you're a, pretty much a stand-up brawler and uh d- you know dirty boxing is right up your alley you're tough as nails you know what i mean it, it, you seem like uh you think that's that's why you fit so well in there i mean absolutely man it's almost like uh, it was that's why i say it was all meant to be like it's like they said okay like we're gonna <laughs> We're going to box and we're going to fight in the clinch. I'm like, oh, shit, sign me up, man. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so, I mean, it's, it's it's going well, you know. And honestly, like, I have um, – I feel really, really adjusted my game for, for, for bare knuckle, and I really am embracing the sport as it is a whole new game, you know what I mean? You know, it's like, uh, you know, people just – you know, I just think it's just a crazy, you know, brawl. I mean, sometimes right. there's definitely elements to that, but I mean, you better be fucking careful where you're getting hit and where you're hitting people more, 
more importantly, you know, I, yeah, because you don't want to be breaking I, I, your hands. Exactly, exactly. So, you know, the first the first two were kind of like learn, you know, on the job training, and then like after that, I really made adjustments, and and uh, things have been going really, really well. That's awesome, man. Yeah, because um, approaching bare knuckle as as opposed to re- traditional boxing. You can't really sit back and hope to counter punch the way you would in a regular boxing fight, right? You you're more likely to be the aggressor in a bare knuckle, I would think. Well, I mean that's my approach. Uh, some people have been able. I mean, you know, it's like, but I think like the the thing why it's like you've seen um, some pro boxers come over and not do so well. You've seen some pro boxers come over and do great, but then some they're like ah. Because it's like an even playing field. Because at the end of the day, it's you gotta get real grimy and nasty. There's gonna come a point in the time we have to just bite down your mouthpiece and go out there and get in a street fight. Um, and uh, you know that's that's where I flourish. So. Yeah, I I really for anybody that's watching that hasn't gotten in to the BKFC yet, you really got to get on there. You can get on BKFC.tv and watch all the events for free. You will instantly be hooked. If you're out there listening, I'm telling you, it is, uh, it's something else. Um, now did you, when you decided to sign with BKFC, did you like, um, start watching, like, were you familiar with the bare knuckle game or, uh, other than watching like Kimbo slice videos on T on uh, YouTube? You know what I mean? Uh, I used to watch a lot of like, uh, I believe it's the, the Joyce family, like they're all the, yeah. Gypsy videos. Uh, oh yeah, I, the uh, Joyce is in um, what's his name? Quinn James Quinn McDonough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my Those god, are... I definitely would go down the bare knuckle rabbit hole. Like I knew who Bobby Gunn was, you know, Bobby a long, Gunn, time, yeah. ago, long time ago, and and you know, I uh, Gypsy Boy Jim Jim McCory. Yeah. So I definitely yeah. like. It was something that I was like, oh, that would be fine, dude. I'd totally be down to do that one day. Never yeah. really thinking, never really thinking that it would like. <laughs> turn into what it is now you know oh man and and, and your guys organization the uh bkfc is signing absolute killers now it's unbelievable the roster you guys are putting together the names the faces it's like i i can't i cannot wait to see what's next and um with that said do you, do you have a fight lined up um got somebody in mind i know mark godbeard and uh Shoemaker fighting December fourth on my birthday, actually, a couple days before your birthday, from what I saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I believe, uh, you know, as long as the winner does not get injured or break his hand or anything like that, I got the winner of that fight. Is that what it's going to be? Because there's other guys. There's, uh, there's Frank Mir just signed with the uh, BKFC. I know that would be a nice scrap for you, uh, oh, Chris yeah. Saro. Yeah, Chris Saro doesn't want it though. No. <laughs> he, he said he's not ready. <laughs> no. I was, I was like, I mean, no, I mean, literally, he said that. So I'm like, all right, well. Uh, all right. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, hey, well, all good, bro. All good. Now, like about a year ago, didn't didn't Vandalay Silva supposedly sign? I, I, I thought I saw that he signed with the BKFC. Did that fall through or something? Because... I'll tell you, Joey Beltran and Vandalay throwdown would be an entertaining little scrap. Oh my God, that's that'd be that talk about a dream come true. That one right there would be a dream come true. Um, yeah, man, I don't know, I I forgot about that, huh? That was true. Right. Yeah. I think that, that, like... that might have been like some. That yeah, definitely is not. It never came to fruition. Maybe they were in. Perhaps they were in talks. And yeah. And it got leaked, like as a rumor, and people jumped on it. But I'm, I, I kind of remember that. But yeah, I want to say it was like about a year ago. It was, uh, yeah, like mid to late 2019. I thought I saw that. But uh, yeah, what about um, what about like Rampage or Shannon, Shannon Briggs? Uh, like those names that ever get tossed around? Because I feel like you, you and Rampage would be another one. You guys can run it back from your MMA days. Uh. Rampage is actually a pretty pretty good friend of mine, and uh, he 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 has not expressed any interest in doing it. No, 
just like jokingly say, man, you you're fucking crazy, man. <laughs> but like <laughs> uh, the Shannon Briggs one is another guy. Is like he got signed, he announced it, but it's like, hey, hey, is he ever gonna fight? And I've already expressed multiple times on social media, called him out. But now I'm just like, all right, well, I'm not gonna give that any more headspace to to something that's like people are just out here just throwing out just fucking ridiculousness, like right. Like, <laughs> well, I I'll tell you right now, last. Last weekend's event was pretty fucking awesome, man. With uh, Yuli Diaz's three second knockout and Palomino. Palomino is an absolute beast. You guys, the talent in BKFC and the entertainment, the entertainment value is just fucking off the charts. I, I love everything I watch there. And then you just signed, uh, you know, the pretty face of Paige Van Zandt. So you're gonna draw a few more eyeballs over to that to that organization. So things are on the up and up for you guys for sure. Yeah, you know, it's just be a matter of just getting these people to actual fight. Right. Hate to be a Debbie Downer, but it's like, yeah, I want to fucking fight Abraham Lincoln. It's going to be a battle of all ages. Like, all right, well, <laughs> that's about as fucking realistic as me saying Shannon Briggs is going to fight. All right. Man, that would be another one. Um, Abraham Lincoln? So- no, 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 no. Oh. Shane, Shane <laughs> nah, I Briggs, know, man. I know. Briggs, I know. He's a beast. I would love to see you and him tangle. I mean, um, Absolutely, what do you think about you know? what do you who you got in the up, upcoming uh, Tyson Roy Jones? Oh man, it, it's like initially I would say, oh Tyson, Tyson KOs him all day, but yeah. then I'm like, dude. I don't underestimate Roy Jones Jr.'s boxing ability and boxing fight IQ. Like he's not, and the fact that he was competing less than two years ago out in right. Russia. You know, I mean, so I mean, I don't know. I mean, to me, honestly, like it's a toss up. Whereas in the past, like it would be all oh, Tyson all day. Tyson's gonna overwhelm him. You know, but I could see like I could see like Tyson like going crazy. And then, uh, like, overwhelming him and, and beating him up a little bit. And then, like, Roy Jones is put, putting that speed on him. That's exactly either way, I'm watching. Either way, Hell for yeah. sure, I'm watching. It's a, it's, a, it's a weird fight card underneath them. It's like there's some uh, – you got an NBA basketball player fighting a YouTuber, and it's like – it's kind of a strange card, but I'm definitely going to be watching too. And last night I was asked the same question, and I said uh, Tyson will – go balls to the wall for the first two rounds. Uh, and then Jones will allow him to gas out and then put in that work. And I said, uh, Jones and eight, they're going to stop it up against the ropes. That's what I think. That's my uh, bold prediction. That. Yeah. Um, I'll, say that, okay, uh, I'll say this. If Tyson doesn't get him in the first two, I got Roy Jones win. Yeah. Um, now – are you are you like a huge boxing fan, or you pay attention to what's what's going on, like regular boxing? I pay, or you just... I, pay att- I pay attention. I wouldn't say like I've been obviously way deeper deeper of a fan in the past. Yeah. Uh, but right now, I mean, I definitely like I have the zone. I'll watch. I love the heavyweights. You know, the Tyson Fury. I I watch all the big fights. I'd say about... yeah, I watch all the big fights, all the big reviews. I watch like I watched Teofimo Lopez. That yeah. was a phenomenal fight. I watched. That kid's uh, awesome. Yeah, yeah. The Javante Davis fight, too. I watched that one. So I watched the big what ones do, for sure. What, what do you think? What are your thoughts on Deontay Wilder's approach to uh, the post Tyson Fury debacle with the plethora of fucking excuses that this guy is put? I mean, I would never say that to his face because he's gigantic and he'd kill me, but he's being kind of a bitch about. Um, First, it was his corner screwed him. His walkout costume was too heavy. His water got spiked by muscle relaxers. His Tyson's gloves, Tyson's gloves were loaded. Um, the edge of Tyson's glove kept poking him in his eye. It was like, I'm like, dude, come on, man. What's up? With yeah, this I mean, shit? I think you said it. You said it yourself. He's being a little bitch. I mean, it's just like uh, it just kind of, man. I kind of just. I, and I was a big Deontay Wilder fan, like not not even so much about the knockouts. The knockouts obviously were spectacular, but like the story about how he he entered fighting, you know, because of the the condition that his daughter had, and you know how he like had 
such determination because he was doing it for his family to, you know, to rise through the amateurs and go to the Olympics and medal in the Olympics. I think after only like two years or three years or something outrageous like that. I was a huge fan. I was a huge fan. And yeah. then just with the way he's acting, man, I'm I'm sure I'm not the only one. We're saying he, he he lost a lot of fans. He lost a lot of respect. You know, I thought he was. But, I mean, awesome the way the but but the way combat sports is. I mean, like he comes out and he knocks out his next couple of people. People will forget about that. Yeah, everyone will love him again. It's a, it's definitely a what what have you done for me lately? Uh, business for sure. Absolutely. Um. So back to your MMA career, I, I wanted to just ask you because you fought. The who's who, man. You you know you fought Rampage. You fought Tony Lopez four times, twice in bare knuckle. You guys have quite the relationship there. I don't know if you'll ever throw down with him again if he keeps on going. But you fought Fabio Maldonado, Sergey Karatanov. Like, what was your toughest? Um, what was the toughest fight you you can that you remember having in your mixed martial arts uh, days? Um, I would say like like physically, like the one where I like had the most pain was probably like James Tahuna. Tahuna, yeah. You yeah, guys got like, fight I, of the night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a couple, and I had a couple like I had like a hole in my mouth. Like, where is it? Where is it? a hole in my mouth right here. Like, I remember, like, they were announcing the winners, and I was like, yep, I could stick my tongue out of my face. There's a hole in my face. <laughs> oh, my like, God. Like, stitches in my eye. Like, it was it was, it was, was gnarly, you know? And, like, but, I mean, I just kept pushing. I kept pushing. I kept pushing. It's fucking so awesome, that dude. I'd probably for sure say that. that was, a, But, you know what? Honestly, too, like, the first... The first or the second Tony Lopez fight that we fought five, five, five fives mm -hmm. on fucking 18 days notice. Those pieces of shit, king of the cage. <laughs> like, I was trying so hard because we fought the first time and he and he broke my arm. He broke my arm because, and uh, then he went on MySpace. <laughs> he went on MySpace and talked shit like, oh, that kid fucking wasn't on my level he should have never been in the cage and i fucking i got pissed i went on a fucking samurai mission to get my honor back and i i went on a five 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 first round knockout streak just to get and, back to him and and <laughs> i was trying like campaigning to get get the fucking fight get the fucking fight and they were like stringing me along and then they gave finally they fucking called like, 18 days notice to fight for the fucking title and I took it, of course. I was like, I'm gonna get my fucking hands on him. And I remember, like, first round, I almost fucking. That's when I learned Tony Lopez is a zombie. I fucking cracked him hard, almost, almost finished him, but was sprinting, sprinting, like sprinting, like ah, like totally gassed out. Second round was fucking dusted. I gassed on top of having like 18 day training camp, like yeah, sprinting for five men. Then he fucking beat my ass the second round, third round. Came back, started getting him back. Boom, fourth round, like it was all like jujitsu. Like he had my back, and I was just defending chokes and shit. And then like the fifth round, I thought I fucking came back. It was like all just stand up war, and I thought yeah. I thought I won. And then they fucking announced. They didn't even announce the cards. They're like winner by decision, Tony Lopez. I was like, everyone was like booing. Motherfucker. But like whatever, motherfucker. I was in the UFC the next fight, so it don't matter. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but like that fight. <laughs> That fight, yeah. like, I learned so much about myself, like, how much you can fucking really push through, like, how, I remember a couple kicks, like, oh, like, I fucking, like, literally, he did, like, a side kick, and I, I thought, like, something ruptured in my, in my, in my insides, it was bad, but I was just like, oh, oh, keep going, keep going, keep going, and it was just, like, scrambling on the ground, like, being dead tired in jujitsu transitions, and just, like, fuck, 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 and just, yeah, man, you learn, it was hard, but it was so, uh oh, yeah. You still there? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I lost you for a second. Um. Yeah, that guy. That guy just seems like an absolute savage. I mean, those are definitely wars. And um, I was taking a look at his. I know I've seen a ton of his fights, but I didn't realize how often he fought. Like 
22 times in one year. Like 20- I know, dude. I was so I was so envious of him. I was getting so mad. How the fuck does this motherfucker get to fight literally like every week? I don't get it. It's insane. <laughs> like I, I was I was actually like counting because I'm like, how the fuck do you have a hundred fights in like you know 13 years? It doesn't fucking make sense. And then I was like, yeah, 2017. He had like 22 fights or something. I'm like, holy shit, 22 fights in one year. That doesn't even fucking make make sense at all. It's crazy. Um, yeah, man. Well, hopefully, uh, the COVID goes away and you get yourself, uh, you get your hands on somebody soon. Um, I really appreciate you, uh, stopping in here. I'm, I, I invited Bob Bove on here, but the fucking guy hasn't accepted the invite. I don't know where the hell he's at. So, uh, <laughs> you fucking idiot. You probably fell asleep. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Well, next maybe. time, next time. Yeah. Hey, so. Every single uh, every single guest I have on, I do a quick speed round at the end of the at the end of the show that uh, doesn't really have anything to do with fighting. It's kind of just fun shit. Get to know the fighter a little bit behind closed doors. You want to do it? Yeah. Ten questions, real quick. Ready? Here we go. Number one. Do you believe in any of the following? Ghosts, aliens, or Bigfoot? Aliens. No ghosts, no Bigfoot. Nah, I'm a nah, fuck it. <laughs> All right, say the first word that pops into your head when I say any of these following names: Hans Molenkamp. Friend. First word, friend. friend. Floyd Mayweather. The greatest. The greatest. That's nice. The Rock. Huge. <laughs> Fucking massive. Yeah. That guy's busy as hell, too. I don't know how he does it either. He's like the he's like the uh, Tony Lopez of Hollywood right now. Fucking dude's making 22 yeah. movies a year. <laughs> uh, favorite vacation destination? Cancun. Nice. Been there many times myself. I love it. Biggest fear? Uh, rats. <laughs> rats. <laughs> Big sewer rats. If you could lose one of your senses, which one would you give up? Hearing. Hearing? Wow. I, uh, I chose smell. I want to be able to see and hear and taste things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> smell, smell, smell for sure. I thought you that shit easy. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite food? Uh, burritos. Nice. Pick one of the following movies: Happy Gilmore, Tommy Boyer, Step Brothers. Step Brothers. Nice. Fucking love that movie. In the Cobra Kai Karate Kid saga, are you Team Johnny or Team Daniel Son? Johnny, all day. Fuck yeah, man. That's a that's a hundred percent. Uh favorite musician. Um The Doors. Favorite song? Uh um, Roadhouse Blues. Nice. And last but not least, is Die Hard a Christmas movie? Of course it is. <laughs> I love it, man. That that answer is different for everybody. I mean, it's like 50-50 split right down the middle. Um, I appreciate you coming on, my friend. Uh, how can people follow you on social media? You want to put that out there? Yeah, man. You can follow me at uh, Joey Beltron underscore MMA on Instagram. And uh, Twitter, Executioner 760. Awesome, man. I appreciate you coming on. I wish Bob was going to hop on here and say hello to you, but uh, he, he dipped out on us today. Um, oh, he wanted me to ask you about your new dog, man. He said, talk about your new dog. What you got? What kind of dog was that thing? Oh, I got I got two new dogs. I got little, I don't know what they are, the little rescue mutts, from, but I got them They're from Tijuana. But I got them from a rescue service, and, yeah, they were rescued. 
they were rescued from Tijuana off the streets of TJ, and one of them was a little like, uh, maybe like a, like a, I don't know. She fits in my hand. She's like a little, a little nipper. Like, yeah, but she got like hair. <laughs> kind of looks like an Ewok, like shaggy hair. Yeah. I gotta take her to get hair groomed. All right, and then that's Selena, and then I got the other one who's like a little fat, he's like a beagle kind of but like fat, like a long fat guy. And yeah. His name's Benny. Oh, they're, they're nice. awesome, man. They're so, you can tell, they're so, <laughs> they hit the lottery, man. They went from the streets to fucking sleeping in the bed and hanging out. That's fucking awesome, man. That's good shit. You, um, you got kids? No. You, uh, no, no kids? I was going to ask if you have kids and if they train like you, but, uh, that's cool, man. I got, um, I got two myself. They're both. They're, they're into like regular traditional karate right now, but I was trying to, I was teaching them some wrestling because I was a, I was an amateur wrestler, teaching them wrestling, maybe trying to get them into some jujitsu. You know what I mean? I think, uh, grappling is important. So yeah. got to be able to defend yourself. Yeah. You know? All right, my friend, I appreciate you coming on. Thank you so much. I uh, can't wait to see you in the BKFC ring again. I hope okay. it's sooner than later. Take it easy. Absolutely. You have a great night. Thank Bye. you. Have a good one. Well, that was Joey Beltran, the current bare knuckle fighting championship heavyweight champion, the BKFC champ, the police gazette heavyweight champ. That dude is cool as fuck, man. He's like uh, super easy to talk to, you know, took some time out of his day. He's out in California. So it's, you know, 5.30 in the afternoon over there, whipping around in his car, rescuing dogs. Um, I appreciate everybody coming on back-to-back -back nights. Keep uh, keep sharing this show. Keep sharing the channel. Let's get the subscribers up. Let's, let's, uh, let's take this thing to big, big places. Um, I am the veteran guest today. We don't have a second half of the show, obviously, because... Uh, I try to bring one on per week, but I'm going to say that you all need to tune in next Wednesday. I know it's the night before Thanksgiving. I know people might be doing some shit, meeting up with your old high school and college friends like I used to do the night before Thanksgiving all the time, but I'm going to be having on Notorious Nick Newell, an absolute savage in mixed martial arts an inspiration to all 16 and three killer from bellator nick newell and my good buddy kyle stafford sergeant kyle kyle stafford from the army he's going to be joining me too uh we're going to have a good time we're going to shoot the shit so I'll tell some funny ass stories and um we're going to keep this ball rolling Another thing I wanted to say, if anybody, if there's any veterans out there that want to come on, you know, shoot me a message on, you know, Facebook message is the easiest way to get a hold of me. But um, shoot me a message. Tell me your story and I'll bring you on, let you talk. And uh, also, if there's any fighters that you guys want me to talk to, um, you know, drop their names in the comments and I'll see what I can do to get them on. I've had some pretty good success uh, so far getting some really awesome dudes on here and uh, I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. So with that said, I appreciate everybody coming on giant. Thank you to Joey Beltran for coming on the executioner. I hope he gets a fight soon. I hope he fucks some shit up and I hope he defends his title effectively and um, keeps doing big things. Uh, make sure you watch some fights. There's Bellator on right now. There's Bellator tonight. There's Invicta tomorrow. Kayla Harrison makes her Invicta debut tomorrow night. That's a big thing to watch. And also, um, also Saturday night is UFC 255. Devison Figueredo versus Alex Perez. Valentina Shevchenko um, versus Amanda Hibas. No, Jennifer Maya. Shit, my bad. Jennifer Maya. And uh, there's, some, there's a lot of really good fights on that card too. So, Stick with the uh, combat sports, man. They're the best ones out there. And uh, I love you all for com uh, for for commenting and coming in, watching my shit two days in a row. For now, I'm going to say 
mission accomplished.